So tonight we're outside the Union, uh, talking to people about the Assange referendum next Thursday, and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hey, excuse me, do you want to talk to TV for a second? About what? About the Assange referendum. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> and how do you feel about surveillance? How do you feel about being watched? I actually have quite strong views on that. I don't mind. In the what referendum? The referendum on whether Assange should come to talk, oh, well, talk via video link to the Union. Who is that? Sorry. Julian Assange, the guy who founded WikiLeaks. Oh, was he going to speak at the Union? Would I go? Okay, how do you respond to the uh, rape allegations uh, and sexual assault? Well, any rape allegations? <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky topic. I'm not sure, really, because if he's sexually assaulting, then that's bad. I don't think I'd see any reason to stop people speaking based on any crimes at all. I do think that you shouldn't give rapists a platform. On the other hand, he hasn't been convicted. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. There have been some questions about the allegations thrown at him uh, in Sweden as well, which makes me kind of question the validity of them because it is maybe a bit too convenient for someone like him to then have problems in as neutral a country as Sweden. So therefore, I would say that, you know, all things considered, even if it were true, I still want him to, there because he does have very, inf very valid information and has stood up for a lot of our liberties. So what's your favourite kind of surveillance? <laughs> um, <laughs> what are the different types? Well, you've got phone tapping. Do you enjoy phone tapping? No. That's not surveillance, is it? It, it falls under surveillance. Because the NSA has been tapping phones, and apparently all of our smartphones now can basically beam to the NSA and the CIA everything that we do in our lives. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's not great. If you look at similar cases of controversial people, such as um, Nick Griffin for BNP, the fact that he went on to Question Time and got slated and was open, um, people were openly able to um, say why they disagree with him, uh, that, was a, that was a beneficial thing. I think people who say that he shouldn't come and he should stay away and shouldn't explain himself for all of these allegations that are against him is a, is a, is a poor thing. He should, he should be held accountable. Because it's, also, it's just in general, like how can we completely fulfill ourselves as human beings if we're completely always, if we just felt, feel like we're being washed, like we're uh, worth absolutely nothing to people. I think it's a good idea that there's a referendum. Um, I will probably vote against him coming, I think. Um, but I'll have a, a think about it. But I think it's a good thing there's a referendum. I would have been annoyed if he'd come without one. I really don't know enough about this to say anything <laughs> okay, at enough. all. Thank you anyway. Sorry, thank you. I thought surveillance was just like watching with cameras. <laughs> a bit like what we're doing to you right now, basically. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Even though I'm not really prepared, I feel a bit freaked out. I think most people have reacted like that so far. <laughs> In conclusion, um, most people don't care. Uh, and then some people don't want to comment. And then the people who do want to comment don't feel they can comment. Tab out.